Yar, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Pixel Pirate. I'm your host, Rip Drick, and I would first and foremost like to apologize for um, missing a few episodes or a few, a, a little bit of time here in this series. I do apologize, you guys. I was having problems with the mods. They were having some confliction errors and causing a lot of error overloads. So uh, I, I had to put the series on hold until obviously I could get that fixed. But as you can see, now it is fixed. We're in completely the same world. Uh, fortunately, we are missing a couple mods. Like I think we took out Chocolate Quest. Um, and I'm not sure if there was really any other ones that you guys are going to notice uh, right away. And if, if I do notice that I'm missing something, I'll, I'll mention that I noticed that I missed it and everything. But like I said, it wasn't really anything too important. Um, now, we are collecting a few things. As you saw, I, I uh, grabbed a couple things here. I just want to make sure that we don't have any any um, more wood that I can, I can make use of here. Um, it doesn't really look like it. Let's go ahead and actually head outside. And uh, where are it's, uh, some trees? I, I don't know. Actually, you know, the vacation might look terrible, so we're not going to do that. But uh, as you guys may remember, in the last episode, we went ahead and accidentally lost a good friend of ours, uh, the Captain Claw. Uh, we lost him in a tragic boating accident slash zombies uh, slash I don't know what. So in commemorance of him or in, in remembrance of him, we're going to go ahead and... Make a little little raft here, and uh, I guess I'll just punch this block out. We do need to get ourselves an axe. I don't think we're carrying one. Oh, we are carrying one. Oh, luckily for us. Cool. So uh, I'll have to remember when I go get Acacia. But uh, I figured we'd just make a little something for him out here. Um, hmm. Now, if he's going this way, yeah, we'll, what we'll do is we'll do this, and then this, and then there we go. Like his gravestone, right? And then... We'll go ahead and put up sails on either side, right? So it pulls it should pull them out to the sea. And then we finally are going to need to head back to the base, actually, uh, for one more thing before we go ahead and send them off. Or I, I guess we can't really send them off because if we were to use Archimedes ship, the next part that I'm trying to do, I don't think would uh, would go through very well. Here we go. Oh, I did not mean to swap those out. Just give me the iron, please. Okay, there we go. And then, um, ooh, it doesn't look like we have any, actually. Um, Give me a second, you guys, and I, I will uh, go find what I'm looking for. All right, and we are back, you guys. Sorry about that. I went ahead and grabbed some gravel because I wanted some flint. And uh, I went ahead and grabbed acacia because I knew I was going to want some extra wood this episode. And I figured, you know what, instead of doing two separate cuts, I would go ahead and just do it all at once. So here we go. This is what I wanted to create. Um, because in the comment section, one of you said, uh, I, I'm sorry, I don't have the name next to me. Um, but one of you said that we we uh, we needed an, an, a Viking burial. And part of the Viking burial, I believe, was that they would send them off to sea, which we have done, clearly. Uh, and and then they would they would shoot shoot flaming arrows. Well, because flaming arrows don't really work uh, at setting things on fire in Minecraft, we're gonna go ahead and just just go ahead and yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do this right. He, he would he would want this at sea, so we'll go ahead and send him off on on his way. We'll hit everything we can here with fire because that's how he would want it. He likes he likes the cool stuff with the fire on it. I think I think that's perfect. And, and stop ruining our funeral. God, I bet that guy didn't come out today thinking today we were going to be celebrating two funerals. Captain Claus and that stupid zombie. Sweet. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the next thing in, in our today's uh, list. Now, I did mention that I wanted to get into Ancient Warfare, and I was worried that Ancient Warfare was the mod that was messing with our um, our Minecraft, but fortunately it was not. Uh, I went ahead and did some more testing, and it looks like it, it may have been just Chocolate Quest. Um, so let's go ahead and get into the next part, which to start, we need to go ahead and build ourselves a town square. Uh, right here so we're gonna need a chest four three pieces of wood and four stone bricks now luckily for us clearly uh, we are surrounded by stone bricks bricks sorry uh, so we should be able to just maybe skim some off somewhere maybe here yeah, and here and then do we have maybe another corner that that doesn't really look like it needs yeah just like that there we go now we have four four stone bricks and we do have the acacia now I'm hoping that it works with the acacia if it doesn't I'll go ahead and quick cut for you guys so that we uh we have something that actually works now. Let's go ahead and make ourselves that chest that we need to put in the middle. Here we go. And then we will put our stone in each corner and our pieces of wood here, here, and here. Oh, and it looks like uh, I was right that we were going to need some oak wood. So I'll be right back, you guys, with that. It shouldn't take more than like a few seconds. 
All right, and we are back. I went ahead and just found one tree. It was a little bit of a walk, but it wasn't a huge deal. Uh, let's go ahead and now make the town home. Uh, we'll go ahead and do this, this, and this. Nice. Now, a chest in the middle, right? Wait, what, what did I do wrong this time? Stone bricks. Oh, we need to be in the advanced warfare crafting. That's my bad. Okay, so instead of that, we're going to need, uh, I believe it's a table. Uh, where is it? No, okay, what if we just look up add advanced, right? Add advanced there. Th wait. What? No. Uh, oh, ancient. Sorry, not advanced. Ancient, jeez. Ancient, and then we need to be looking for these guys right here. We need an engineering station, a research station, and a research book. Uh, that is done with quite a bit of gold here. Okay, a lot of iron there. And um, finally, we need this book, which is two pieces of iron, four pieces of leather, and our three paper. So let's go ahead and see if we have all that kind of stuff. Uh, I'll collect it all here. Uh, or will collect it, I guess. It, it shouldn't take too long. I did not mean to put these in there, though. Okay, um, we need leather. Do we have leather? Okay, we have gold for sure. We have iron. We, we're we going to need more iron. We, we just have those buckets now, unfortunately. Um, Okay, so let's let's do a tally on everything we need because I want to make every one of these crafting tables. So we need a crafting table, another chest. Uh, so two chests, two crafting tables. So let's do let's do those right now. Um, here we go, just like that. And then let's go one, two of these, and then finally our two crafting tables, just like that. Wait, did I need? No, I didn't need another crafting table for that. Okay, so we have our crafting tables. We have our wood. We need. Uh, 6 iron plus 4 iron, 10 iron plus another 2, so we need 12 iron um, and 2 gold. So 12 iron, 2 gold, and 4 leather. Uh, so give me a second here, you guys. Oh, wait. You know what? Don't we still have the, um, what's the mod called? The Rotten Flesh to uh, Leather mod. I think I still have it in here. I don't know if I need to do anything else to this. Let's go ahead and look at that. Uh, uh, here we go. Leather. Just like this. Yeah, you can just cook it straight up. That's what I thought. Awesome. So let's go ahead and lay this down. I did not mean to lay this down. Actually, I have an axe in here, don't I? Yes, good. Okay, and then let's go ahead and drop some pieces of rotten flesh into there and get those cooking while we go ahead and go on our adventure for iron. Now, on, uh, fortunately, while I was out getting the... Gravel, I remember seeing a few pieces of iron. Sorry, I'm just looking for some fuel here that we can drop into here. Actually, you know, we'll just we'll drop this. And then do I have any more acacia logs? Yeah, we have, a, we have a few acacia logs. So let's go ahead and drop those. And then our inventory is kind of full. What can we get rid of that's super not important? Uh, I guess we don't need any more of this right now. Hopefully, we don't need that. Gunpowder is not a necessity. Neither is flint. And apples are not important. Okay, let's go ahead and, and head over here. Like I said, I did see some some gravel. Oh, you know what? I think we're going to need a different kind of shovel. Some uh, iron, iron gravel over here. So let's go ahead and grab that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and make ourselves an iron shovel. I know it seems like we're wasting iron in order to get more iron. That's really weird. Um, but hopefully, hopefully we'll have enough. See, there's a, there's a few pieces of gravel or iron, iron gravel. I think it's called over here. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and check it out. Actually, um, I can't remember what they call this. I, I could have sworn that I'm right though. Let's go ahead and dig these guys up. Boom, and there should be two there. Yeah, iron gravel ore. That's what I thought. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and look for. This is where I got that gravel, by the way. I'm gonna go look for a few more pieces of iron, and then we'll be back. I said I needed 12 pieces. We are currently at a total number of three, so that means we're gonna need nine more. And uh, I'll see you in a minute. All right, and as night falls upon us, I found our last uh, few pieces of iron. I believe we have a total of 12 now. Yeah, that looks like 12. So awesome. So we have everything we need. Um, I don't know why this is glowing up here, but that kind of scary. Is there like lava under there maybe? Eee, that could have been bad, huh, if I let that go? Oh, man. Okay, so yeah, like I said, we're heading home. Uh, hopefully our leather is completely done because I want to get to work on this whole mod. It's actually very cool. Ancient Warfare adds a many things. The thing we're going to be dabbling right now, though, will be the creation of soldiers. So I don't know that we'll see that this episode because there are quite a few steps in order to get there. But I do want to bring up right now that um, the, the soldiers can be reskinned, right? And and one of my ideas was, was I would have all of you fight alongside of me, which I would be really excited for. So the idea, idea there is maybe if you give me your in-game names down below this 
episode, then I would be able to um, hopefully download your skins and and be able to uh, have you guys fight alongside me because I think that would be really awesome. I actually am looking forward to it quite a bit here. Okay, so we have everything but it looks like paper. And wait, I think we need paper, right? Let's look up at ancient again and make sure I'm right at ancient here we go and paper yeah we need three paper okay i was right and then just double checking these recipes here making sure i'm not missing anything doesn't look like i am let's go ahead and climb up the staircase here and take a little nap and then i will go out and find us some sugar cane i apologize about not being ready for it actually we should just be able to look outside and see if i can't see some sugar cane along the shore oh and we have some right across the way uh, i think i planned that a little bit earlier in fact we may already have some paper in one of these chests nope we don't okay awesome Good, good thing we checked before we went out and did all that, though. Let's go ahead and head out. I actually, I, I wish, I, now that I think about it, I probably should put the buttons on the same side just so I know, okay, they're always on that side. Because uh, I've, I've had some troubles with, with like, oh, wait, is oh, the button, oh, oh, now I'm all worried about where the button is. And it's like, I shouldn't, I shouldn't have to worry about something like stupid like that. I really like this, um... This mod where it turns the rotten flesh into leather gives rotten flesh an actual use. See, like, there's on the other side. Okay, so now, there we go. We should get three pieces of paper from one of those, so we don't need to make any more now. Only six of these cooked because we didn't put enough power into it. Let's go ahead and drop some more in there. Now, let's start off by making the book. Here we go, just like this. And then leather, leather, there we go. And we have our research book. Now, with a research book, you right click it to open it. Uh, but first, you need to shift right click uh, after, I explained that wrong. Right when you first get the book, it is not mapped to anybody. So it's not assigned to anybody. But now that I have right clicked it, it, it says the researcher name is Rip Direct. So that's specifically for me. No one else will um, will be able to use this book, I guess, if they if they download my world and, and want to use my inventory with my book or something like that. So you need, you need to do that, though, in order to get started with the book to even look inside of it. Uh, I was going to go ahead and clear up my inventory once again here. I apologize about this. I did not think that it would be get this cluttered this quickly, actually. It's quite impressive. Okay, let's go ahead and grab the rest of that iron, and then we'll get this stuff cooking. Now, the next one we will create is our engineering station, so let's go ahead and pop that in. If you don't know how I did that, I shift and then clicked the question mark, and uh, and it auto-fills for us, and then let's go ahead and do the research station now. What, what, if, if it doesn't auto-complete, it's usually because you're missing something, and it would be because I'm missing planks. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, wait. It's what? What? Don't do this. Okay, I think it's probably because uh, I keep shift clicking with the wrong, um... oh, you know what it is? I don't have enough iron. I apologize about that. Oh, it's not even a good crafting table. I forgot to make it a good crafting table, so it spit everything out. Not a big deal. Let's just go ahead and fly right through this crafting recipe one more time here. And what else? Iron and then a chest. There we go. And now we have our research station and our engineering station. Now let's go ahead and set these bad boys up um, here and here. I love the look of these, by the way. I think they look very awesome. Now, like I said, uh, this research book can be uh, right-clicked in order to see everything. Now, this will teach you what you can do with everything. So what we're looking for is, first of all, we're looking for leadership because we want uh, workers and soldiers and things, and we want to be able to make the food bundle. Remember that I tried to make the other episode, but unfortunately could not. So our first research thing will be uh, that so that we can also create our town hall. Um, so let's go ahead and right click this oh not right click the book because if you right click the book even trying to open a crafting table or anything it will open the book over everything else so what you do is you go ahead and put that guy up here in the top left corner in order to work now you adjust your research queue and you tell it where you want it to go if you hover over the what you want to research it will tell you what you're going to need to upgrade now in our research queue like i said we're going to want leadership because we're going for the soldiers here so let's go ahead and hit that plus there now remember now let's look it's 10 pieces of paper, 24 sticks, three uh, three string, and four torches. So, And you can see it's, it shows it right here. And it won't pull everything until you have at one of at least the, um, the least amount of everything you need. So let's go ahead and drop this guy here. I usually like to put it in the same slot just so it's a lot easier to see. Now let's go ahead and make ourselves uh, a few sticks. What was it? It was 24, right? Actually, you know what? That should be enough wood, I hope. There we go. Oh, no, it wasn't. It was just short. Just shy. I apologize about that. Let's go ahead and make one more, and then boom. There we go. Now that will be enough wood for our 
wood requirement in the table. Now, what else am I missing? Uh, I do need to make another another set of sticks in order to make uh, torches. So I'm going to need to either... Actually, you know what? I can just do this and we'll make torches out of the... out of the. I was going to say we're going to need to go back to the mines, but there's no need to. Next, what else do we need is our final thing, which is that paper again. Hmm. Papers become tricky to get. That's all right, though. Uh, we'll survive. Now we need how many more pieces of sugar cane? We need five more pieces of sugar cane. Are there five more pieces of sugar cane out here? Uh, we can go over there and, and grab those. We'll, we'll leave these here. They seem quite important to us because we may run into needing them again, and I have a really strong feeling that we will. So like I said, yeah, we'll just leave them. Now, like I said, I, I, I had this game, this, this mod group or whatever, crash on me, and I am really sorry about that, you guys. But it let me it let me uh, give give some reflection time and obviously I'm back and I hope I hope you guys I hope you guys can accept my apology I wholeheartedly uh, uh, do feel bad about about missing you guys because I do miss you guys just as much as you miss me um, I'm sure and now let's go ahead and maybe even more okay let's go ahead and let's go ahead and uh, get our paper now we have our paper let's go ahead and load this up and now we should have our two pieces of charcoal and our charcoal and our torches you know we can always have extra torches no problem with that and then like i said we'll just go ahead and drop this in now we'll see that all the ones that we're not using stay and uh and the progress bar goes up we'll go ahead and actually just get these things out of our inventory we'll let this progress bar go up now we have gone ahead and researched that that leadership so now leadership is no longer on the queued side and the learnable research has gone up we got we have conscription now or conscription I apologize and command now obviously command is the one we are going to want which is going to require a little bit of iron so let's go ahead and queue that up right now and uh, we'll, we'll get to work on that in a bit actually before we do that let's go ahead and take our book out I believe and we need to um we need to put it in here first and this is where we make our 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 town hall uh, this is how you would need to jump the book over you have to have the book if you don't move the book over you're not going to have the crafting recipe because it needs to register that you actually have researched it and that in order to do that you need to jump the book over so let's go ahead and make like i said our town hall so there should be our town hall now town hall serves a few purposes first of all it's like quote unquote the home base for all of the the um, people that you, that you employ in your village, uh, as well as if you right click it, you can see your death list. So if you have any villagers or anything that die, you'll see that there, uh, and you can clear the list. Or this is your inventory area. So this is where you're gonna want to drop a few things. Uh, we'll start by showing the easiest one, which is our food. You're gonna want to drop food in here so that when you first have villagers and stuff, they'll take a few pieces of food off of you, and they, they'll stay satiated and they they'll be able to do their jobs. And now, like I said, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and grab our book back out of here. We'll put it back in here, and we will. Oh, our research queue automatically adjusts. I didn't know that. Awesome. Uh, there there are a few more things to the mod that that I'd like to show, but we're not there yet. Um, I do need to go get us some iron. I think I can still make. Oh, you know what we can still make? We can make those food bundles because I think we collected everything for them before, didn't we? So let's go ahead and look them up. Food bundles, there we go, and oh, we needed that steak for the food bundles, didn't we? Dang, I'm sorry about that. Okay, let's go ahead and grab this, this, right, what else do we need? Oh, we don't need bread, but we do need those apples that we had dropped in here, as well as water bottles. All these water bottles, there we go. And now let's go ahead and, and just, yeah, where is my book? I left it in the crafting table, my bad. Let's go ahead and drop this guy back in here. And now, hope no, we can't auto complete into there, can we? Okay, that's fine. Let's go ahead and just double check. And here, and here, here. Water, and then you can you can actually drop all the other waters into here, uh, and it will pull all those resources from there. So you'll see what I mean here in a second. And then finally, the chicken. I think I accidentally ate a piece. That's on me. Anyway, so and then you can you can shift and then click and then it will make as many as are available, which is really cool. I think that that will speed things up a little bit. We'll keep everything else of these in here just so we can we can make more soldiers if we need to. But that that's the basis for those soldiers. If you don't remember, um, I think I can. Go ahead and show you. Yeah, see, and this is where how we get our combat NPCs and our workers and everything like that. You need this kind of stuff. Now, we do have a bunch of extra gold already, fortunately. But unfortunately, we don't have our command part uh, set into the book yet. Or we do have... Wait, wait, wait. 
We do have command. I apologize. I'm still I'm still learning. Oh, no, we don't have command. I was right. Dang it. Why do I always second guess myself? I apologize about that, you guys. So, yeah. So, our next thing is we just need to go get a lot of iron in order to work with. Um, but I think I'm going to save that for the next episode, you guys. We have covered quite a bit here today. And, uh... Yeah, so like I said, please leave your, your in-game, your Minecraft in-game name down below. I would love to have you guys fight alongside me because you can you, apparently you can do that where you change their, their names or something and, and you can you can have them have different skins and stuff. And I would love I would love to see you guys out here on the field with me. We're gonna have to suit you guys up, give you guys some armor, give you guys some good some good weapons to fight with, and then hopefully we'll be able to go ahead and take over those strongholds. I apologize about there being a lack of combat and things in this episode, but I think think once we're there it's going to be a great time actually you know what let's uh now we're going to want more than that right there we go that's that's a good number right i mean let's uh let's go harass them a little bit let's let's just real quick before we end the episode, we'll, we'll go ahead and get get some grenade tosses in on them. But uh, before we go, uh, you guys, I'd like to say thank you so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, remember to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. And I really honestly hope you all have a great day. If you don't know, I do live stream over on Twitch. I play a different game, though I don't play Minecraft. I play Heroes and Generals, which is a first-person shooter uh, based around World War II. And I actually have a great time. Uh, my language is a little bit more vulgar over there, too. I, I just be forewarned with you guys but let's go ahead and throw some grenades oh yes you too baby oh these are awesome okay now we're just gonna i can't see anybody else so we're just gonna fire a few in and hopefully hopefully they freak out thank you guys so much for watching once again i'll see y'all later